All right, guys. The truth about PT. Teaching PT for the last six years, having taken the test multiple times, last twelve attempts I've taken, I've got perfect ninety. I am going to share five truths about PT in this video, which you need to know if you are serious about cracking your test in the very first go. All ifs and buts, whatever you need to know to crack your test in the very first go, will be there in this video. So make sure you watch till the end. I have divided this video into five different parts so that it is easy, clear. and stay to the point let's get into the video and let's know and reveal the secrets behind the pt test truth number 1 pt is not an english test if it would have been an english test probably i wouldn't be teaching you right um i'll be very honest straight forward and blunt it's not just about your language yes it is to some extent about your language but more than that it is about understanding what the system is actually looking for because there is no human involvement everything is scored with the help of computer artificial intelligence or ai is smart but it is not as smart as humans and there are several ways to trick it for example let's say you have been asked to write an essay on one topic right there is no fixed answer let's say the topic is globalization has helped to increase business all over the globe what do you think let's say this is the topic writing the correct essay on this topic has got thousands of different ways there is no human who will check if you have written the right topic or not or if you have written the right arguments or not and artificial intelligence is not that smart so for one particular question there are thousands of different correct answers there is no fixed answer so computer cannot mark you correct or incorrect all you have to do is to satisfy the marking criteria what do i mean to say is that there is no fixed or right or wrong answer in most of the questions in pt and that is where you can trick the computer by addressing the marking criteria for example marking criteria in essay is based on content form grammar and spellings for content you have to just provide keywords for form you have to provide word limit for grammar there shouldn't be any grammar mistake for spelling there shouldn't be any spelling mistakes similarly in summarized written text summarized spoken text there is no fixed answer All you need to do is to address the marking criteria, and success will be yours. Again, truth number one: it's not your English test. It's more of understanding and satisfying the requirements of the computer, and you will get your desired scores. So, if you're preparing for PT, don't just focus on your language. Yes, focus a bit, but more than that, focus on understanding the algorithm, the system, and you will be able to get your desired scores. Truth number two: There are twenty different question types in PT Academic and nineteen different question types in PT Core. And out of these twenty questions, half of the questions are not important. Fifty percent of your exam is not important at all, and you need to get this right in your head. I have seen students focusing on questions or focusing on area. Uh, which is not important at all you need to understand what is important and act accordingly let me give you an example in listening there are eight different question types out of which four are not important when i say not important means they only contribute one to two points and remaining four questions contribute around 50 points so you need to understand which part of the test is important and you have to act accordingly for example what is important and what is not important in speaking read aloud repeat sentence extremely important describe image retell lecture moderate importance answer short question not at all important even if you don't work or attempt or practice these ones you can still get 90 in writing writing essay and summarize written text moderate importance reading blanks reading writing blanks reorders are important MCQ single answer, MCQ multiple answer in reading not important at all. Even if you don't attempt it, you can still get your desired scores, even seventy nine plus. Whenever I go for the test, last twelve times when I've got ninety each, I only focus on ten questions which are important. Listening, select missing word, highlight correct summary, MCQ single, MCQ multiple not important for both PT core and PT academic. You do not have to focus. You just have to focus on summarize spoken text. listening fill in the blanks write from dictation and highlight incorrect words truth number 2 is 50% of your test is not important please do not focus on questions or tasks which are not important just focus on things or question types which are important and which will yield you a lot of points 
So get this right into your head. You have to only focus on things which are important and neglect or ignore question types which are not important and do not waste your time practicing the same. Truth number three, it's all about your smart work, not about your hard work. If you think you'll study for 10 hours, 12 hours for months, you're not really going to get your scores. Even if you study for two to three hours for two weeks, you can get your scores if you work smartly and in the right direction. Working hard is not going to get you anywhere. What do I mean by work smart? You need to use the tricks. You need to use the hacks. And most importantly, you need to use the templates. Templates do work. I have got 90. All the students are getting their desired scores using the templates. Just you need to make sure you use the templates the right way. For example, in essay, you can use the templates. In 2024 as well, you can use the templates, but you need to make sure that you use the templates in the right manner. It's not that you're blindly following the templates. You have to follow the templates. What are templates? Pre-made structure, which you can adjust or fit in any question type, but you need to make sure you add proper or relevant keywords as well. Similarly, in summarize spoken text from listening, in speaking describe image, in speaking reader lecture, you have to use the templates, just add related keywords and you will get full points. You need to make sure you take full advantage of templates, which we have spent a lot of hours, a lot of time, a lot of money creating and curating all these templates. Take advantage of these, understand how you have to use the templates and it will be easier for you to score your or to get your desired scores in the shortest period of time want to know more about the templates i'll attach the link to the videos which have got the latest templates and the explanation on how to use it you can watch that and ace your test in the shortest period of time so truth number three it's always smart work over hard work especially in pt use the templates use properly and success is going to be yours truth number four it's just about the hacks and techniques not just about your language your language skills will only play a part up to 20 to 30 percent rest 70 percent are your hacks your understanding of the test your shortcuts and your tricks let me tell you a few tricks in write from dictation you can add extra words wherever you are doubtful for example the sentence is I am a good boy. You get one point for each correct word, zero for incorrect word. There's no negative marking. Let's say the sentence is I am a good boy. I'm not really sure if it's boy or boys. I'll just write I am a good boy space boys full stop. You will get five points for correct words you have written and for boys you will get zero but you will not get minus one. So you, even if you have added extra words, you're not losing any points. You're securing your points and you are maximizing your chances or your probability of getting full points in write from dictation. Similarly, in read aloud, you can use one line strategy. In repeat sentence, wherever you're not sure about content, you can add fillers. In summarize written text, you can join three sentences using connectors. So truth number four, 70% of your test is about tricks, techniques, hacks, and shortcuts. Follow those strictly, follow all the tricks, templates and shortcuts which we have provided you and you will be fine yes your language is important you need to work a bit on your language for your reading module but remaining three modules you need to focus on the hacks and shortcuts which we have shared with you and you will be all right all the hacks do work you just need to make sure you follow them properly implement the strategies properly and you will get your desired scores truth number five time management pt is going to trick you pt does not really want that you get your desired scores easily right remember there's an adjective easily over here to get your desired scores pt wants you to work hard the trick is that the most important question of your test is at the end of the test and all the questions before that are time consuming and not that important in PT, it is very crucial that you manage your time properly. You should know how much time you have to spend or invest on each question type so that you can get your desired scores without wasting your time and money. For example, the most important question of your PT test right from dictation is placed on purpose at the end so that you waste your time on MCQ single answer, MCQ multiple answer, select missing word and highlight correct summary and then you do not have enough time for the most important question type. What do you need to do? 
in reading you do not have to spend even a single second on mcq single and mcq multiple answers in reading blanks reading writing blanks and reorders you have to spend a maximum of 2 to 2.5 minutes in listening 10 minutes for summarized spoken text around 50 seconds for listening fill in the blanks after the audio do not spend more than 30 seconds on highlight correct summary after the audio only 10 seconds on mcq single mcq multiple and select missing word after the audio highlight incorrect word you do not have to do much after the audio and for write from dictation per dictation allocate yourself 50 seconds so that you can proofread the spellings add extra words and secure maximum points what do i mean to say time management is crucial you have to you know invest your time on questions which are going to give you high scores for example right from dictation at the end you need to make sure you have enough time um you need to put in enough time for reading blanks reading writing blanks and not waste your time on mcq single and mcq multiple and this way you'll be able to complete your test in a smooth manner and maximize your desired scores as well so this was truth number five that pt test is based on your time management skill as well you need to make sure you are up to the mark you know the exam format what is important where you have to put in time and you will be fine and the last truth or a bonus tip i would say whenever you practice you need to make sure you practice in a crowded room because if you're taking a test for the first time when you go and sit for the test you will have around eight to ten students sitting in the same room um it will not be a very big hall it will be an average sized room and everyone will start speaking some of them will even shout or speak too loud and if you're taking the test first time you will be nervous one tip for this whenever you practice practice in a crowded environment if you're practicing by yourself in um, at your place you need to make sure you you know play some kind of background noise or background music um, on your phone on or on your system so that you are used to taking the test in a crowded environment you do not panic on the test day you give your 120 percent and crack your test in the very first go so this was a bonus tip five truths i've shared with you about pt which if you follow will definitely help you crack your test with a very high score now i really want you to make sure you practice as much as you can to practice you can go on languageacademy.com.au and one request before you actually go for the test take a free full scored mock test on languageacademy.com.au it's a free mock test now what happens over here you take the mock test you get the scorecard you get the feedback you get the analysis you get the tutor feedback as well which will give you a clear idea of what mistakes you have made what uh, areas you need to focus on where you have lost majority of your points and how you have to maximize your scores when you go for the test if you take the mock test you will come to know what mistakes you're making you will not repeat the same mistakes when you go for the test and definitely you'll get a higher score to take the mock test you just need to go on languageacademy.com.au register and take a free full scored mock test there are several other mock tests available for free such as reading mock test writing mock test listening mock test you can take that as well if you do not have a computer i highly recommend you practice on a computer because your test will be a computer based test if you do not have um, access to computer you can download LAPT exam practice app as well it's only for PT academic not for PT core at the moment but if you're using the website you can practice both PT academic and PT core over there that is it from this video I hope the video helps you crack your test in the very first go if you need any help we do provide online classes uh, for PT Academic, PT Core. We have got a lot of students all around the world. You can give us a call, send us a message or visit our website. Uh, we will be with you. We'll make sure you do not waste your time and money and get your desired scores in the very first go. We have got our branches in Australia and in India and Nepal as well. These are the locations, the address, the phone numbers. Feel free to visit us and we will help you get your desired scores without wasting your time and money. Till date, we have helped more than 50,000 students to clear their PT test and you could be the next one. That is it from this video. My only aim, you know, I keep on posting the videos is to make sure I give my 100% to help you guys out that you get your desired scores without wasting your time and money. And if you ever get your desired scores watching my videos, do let me know. That is something I work for and that is something which will keep me going on. If the video was helpful, do like, share and subscribe. Now go on languageacademy.com.au and practice and crack your test in the very first row.